Last month, I made a video doing a deep dive into the genre of alternative hip hop, highlighting some key artists and albums. I told you guys to vote for which subgenre of hip hop I should go into next based on these options. After counting every single comment on both YouTube and TikTok, trap music won with a total of 146 votes. So today I'll be going over what trap music is and showing you guys some of the best artists and albums to check out if you want to expand your music taste. I'll also go over what I think are the top five trap albums of all time. Also at the end, I'll be asking you guys which subgenre of hip hop I should go into next based on these options. With all that out of the way, let's get into it. Trap music came up in the southern US in the early 1990s. The name trap comes from Atlanta slang. A trap house is where drugs were sold illegally, so trap music was built around rapping about this. So by definition, if a song isn't talking about trapping, it's not trap. But this term has evolved over time. Trap beats usually consist of synthesized drums with complicated hi-hat patterns and tunable kick drums. So while some people will say that newer trap music like Travis Scott isn't technically trap, a lot of people have just come to the conclusion that if a song uses a trap beat, it's trap. In my opinion, trap has evolved for the better, and while there is a lot of good old trap music, I think a lot of the new artists have evolved the genre. I'm I'm gonna go over some of the best trap artists first, then I'll go over some great albums. First, let's start with the two trap goats, Young Thug and Future. These guys are some of the most important people in terms of shaping modern rap music, and pretty much every artist nowadays has taken some sort of inspiration from them. For Young Thug, I'd say to start with So Much Fun and Barter Six. If you like those two projects and you want to hear more, listen to the Slime Season Trilogy, Rich Gang The Tour, and Slime Language 1 and 2. I'd end with Beautiful Thugger Girls and Jeffrey because these are a bit more experimental and different from their usual style. You should definitely check these out though because they are some of his best, and Jeffrey is one of the best trap albums of all time. Now for Future. Most most people consider Future to be the trap goat, but I switch between him and Thug all the time. To get into his music, start with DS2 if you're already familiar with trap music, or Hendrix if you're more familiar with pop music. After that, Monster is definitely his best project, so you should check that out. The Wizard is also super underrated and one of his best. 56 Nights is a great mixtape, but I'd recommend downloading it off the internet because the Spotify and Apple Music versions took some of the best songs off of it. What a Time to Be Alive is a collab mixtape with Drake, and this is also worth checking out. There's a couple more good ones, but I'm sure you can just find those on your own if you already like the ones I listed. I'd recommend ending with Save Me. This is very different from the rest of his albums, some people hate it, but I think it's one of his best. Honestly, probably even top three future. Another duo that's considered to be some of the best trap artists are Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert. I think Cardi is a lot better than Uzi, but they both have a solid discography. Uzi's best albums are Lil Uzi Vert vs The World and Love Is Rage 2. For Cardi, he only has three albums, so I just listen to them in order because they get better with each release. Travis Scott is kind of controversial, some people consider him trap, some people don't. Personally, I think he's a mix of trap and psychedelic hip hop. His best albums are Rodeo and Astroworld, so I check those out because they're both super solid. Now going back to the very beginning, many people consider 3-6 Mafia to be the creators of trap. In the 1990s when everyone was making boom bap, these guys were making a whole different sound. If you want to listen to their music just to see how trap started, I'd listen to their album Chapter 2 World Domination. Three of the most iconic and most influential trap artists are T.I., Gucci Mane, and Jeezy. For T.I., listen to King, and for Jeezy, listen to Let's Get It, Thug Motivation. Gucci Mane has a huge discography with over 80 projects, so I just check out my playlist on Apple Music or Spotify, or check out The State vs. Radrick Davis. Those are who I consider to be the most iconic figures in trap, so now I'm going to go over some albums that aren't created by these artists. First, Culture by Migos is just banger after banger, and I guarantee if you listen to it, you'll recognize most of them. Walk of Flock of Flames, Flock of Belly is one of the most hype albums ever, and it's great if you're working out or just trying to get hyped up. I don't consider Taboo or any of Denzel Curry's albums to be trap, but I know some people do, so this video wouldn't be complete without at least mentioning this amazing album. Pretty Girls Like Trap Music by 2 Chains is pretty good, but the intro to this album is one of the best hip hop intros of all time. Finally, Rich by Chief Heath falls into the drill category, but drill is technically a subgenre of trap, and this album is so influential that I can't just not talk about it. This one album influenced so many of the artists we hear today, such as Young Thug, Young Boy, Juice World, Lil Uzi Vert, 21 Savage, and more. Next, I Am Greater Than I Was by 21 Savage. I think this is 21's best album, but if you like it, you should check out Without Warning and Savage Mode 1 and 2. Championships by Meek Mill might not technically count as trap, but I don't know what other category I would put it in. The first nine tracks are amazing, but after that, it kind of falls off. Still some decent songs in the second half, just not as good. But I definitely recommend listening to the first half of this album. Young Boy is probably the most overhated rapper of all time, and although he does have a lot of bad stuff in his discography, these albums are definitely worth checking. Out. Trap Lord by ASAP Ferg is great. Not much to say here, just full of good music. I'll admit the Lil Baby is very overrated and My Turn was like a 4 out of 10, but Harder Than Ever is a very overlooked and overall a good album. Rick Ross is a great trap artist too and has an amazing voice. I think his best album is Teflon Dawn, so if you like the way he sounded on his Devil in a New Dress verse, I'd check this out. Santana World by TK is pretty good and it's sad that he got locked up because he had a lot of potential. I'm not saying to frame or anything, but someone needs to slide this man a laptop. Everyone's heard the box by Roddy Rich, but the album it came from, please excuse me for being antisocial, is really good and probably the best trap album of 2019. Lastly, Drake is not a trap artist, but his two albums, If You're Reading This Is Too Late and What A Time To Be Alive, are both great trap albums and some of his best work. Now, I know that was a lot, so now I'm just going to briefly go over what I think of the top five trap albums of all time. I did a TikTok on my top 10 trap albums a while ago, but my mind has changed a lot. Keep in mind, this is all just my opinion. At number five, I got DS2 by Future. Great album, no skips, only one feature. My top five songs are Where You At, Blood On The Money, Stick Talk, Thought It Was A Drought, and I Serve The Bass. Literally any top five is valid for this album, though. It's insanely consistent. Overall rating, eight out of ten. At number 
four, whole lot of red by Playboy Cardi. I know some people are gonna be mad at me for this one, but it has amazing production and it really grew on me. The only problem I have with this album is that the features are kind of weak, so it's only Cardi through most of it. This is why Whole Lot of Red and Die Lit are so close for me, because Die Lit has better features, but Whole Lot of Red has better production. But I think overall Whole Lot of Red is a little bit better. My top five for this album are New Tank, Sky, On That Time, Rockstar Made, and Stop Breathing. Overall rating, 8 out of 10. And number three, I got Rodeo by Travis Scott. I don't know if everyone considers this album trap, but most of the songs are trap, so I'm gonna count it. The only songs holding it back from being higher are Piss on Your Grave and Flying High. Piss on Your Grave had amazing production and a Kanye feature, but they still managed to mess it up. My top five songs are Pray for Love, Apple Pie, Oh My This Side, Maria, I'm Drunk, and 90210. Overall score, 8 out of 10. At number two, I got Jeffrey by Young Thug. Amazing vocals, not a single skip, super creative. My top five is Future Swag, Wyclef Jean, Riri, Kanye West, and Harambe. Overall score, 9 out of 10. And the best trap album of all time is gonna have to go to Monster by Future. After analyzing it for my theory video, I realized how amazing this album actually is. Listening to the lyrics and feeling the emotion Future put into this mixtape is just amazing, and I'd honestly probably have it top 20 or top 30 hip hop. Top five is Hardly, Radical, My Savages, Throwaway, and Coding Crazy. Overall score, nine out of 10. Keep in mind, this is just my opinion. Leave your top five in the comments and I'll be reading all of them as always. Also, based on these options, make sure you vote by commenting which subgenre I should go into on my next video. I'll be counting every single comment just like last time. Thanks for watching and make sure to leave a like if this helped you discover some new music.